Thank you. Thank you. Big time sports. How many guys here at one time or another haven't dreamed of hitting a grand slam or throwing a winning touchdown or walking around the locker room without a towel because you're not embarrassed about your size? <laughs> Sure, we all have, because sports are part of our national psyche. <laughs> and athletes are people we can all look up to, unless they're jockeys. <laughs> but should we? My first guest says no. She's a veteran ESPN sports reporter who has spent the last 12 years on the locker room floor. Please welcome Fran Howard. <laughs> Fran, let's get right to it. Athletes, role models, huh? Well, Dick, I think most pro athletes nowadays are overpaid brats who think they're bigger than the game. Well, why, last year I'm in a locker room at the Super Bowl, just before I took a call from the president, and I whoa, was... Whoa, wait, wait, wait a second, friend. You were in the locker room? Yes. Uh, weren't the guys naked? Some, but when you're working, it doesn't phase you. Anyway, Dick, I was come, just about come to... Come on, friend. <laughs> you expect us to believe that the sight of incredibly well-built naked men doesn't phase you? Dick, it's a part of my job. Anyway, just It really doesn't phase you. <clears throat> no, Dick, it doesn't. I mean, in those circumstances, it's no different than when you were a kid and accidentally saw your sister naked. Would that have turned you on? You mean when she was 12 and just starting to blossom? <laughs> oh, no, no, of course not. Of course it wouldn't. <laughs> no, of course of course not, what a silly question. Uh, but an interesting locker room story nonetheless. And, and my next guest has some interesting locker room stories of his own. His surly arrogance and marginal skills as a pro basketball player now earn him $4 million a year. Please welcome to the house, Donald X-Man Fisher. <laughs> X, my bro, welcome to my crib. You are here to chill. <laughs> X, how do I put this gently? You're hated by the fans, reviled by the press, control.